that's the little secret, which I guess isn't a secret. I do it because because I love it, because it's fun. While others have explored DNA's genetic role, Jacqueline Barton has been discovering its physical properties. I love structure, three-dimensional structures, and the molecular world has all these beautiful structures, and what's more beautiful than the DNA double helix? It was while studying the ability of metal molecules to serve as DNA reporters that Barton made a significant discovery. In my lab, we were mainly focused on how metal complexes bind to DNA, and we were really trying to design molecules that would bind to specific sequences of DNA. These metal complexes carry out electron transfer reactions. Do they do it faster, better, differently in the presence of DNA? And the answer was that they did. Well, how are they doing that? Maybe they are being coupled into the DNA helix and shooting an electron through the DNA. Her pursuit of the answer proved to be grueling, controversial, and revolutionary. We showed that you could carry out a chemical reaction on DNA, oxidize it, damage the DNA from a distance. Then we started saying, well, gee, if we can do that, maybe that happens inside the cell because your DNA is constantly getting damaged, but it gets fixed. Her discoveries have illuminated new ways to characterize DNA damage and how cells repair themselves. Within each of our cells, we have this exquisite repair machinery that's always finding the mistakes that are generated all the time and fixing those mistakes. But it's like finding a needle in a haystack, and we don't have a lot of those proteins, and they're not all that terribly specific for individual mistakes. So how do they find the needle in a haystack? How do they find the mistake? We think like telephone repairmen, they send a signal to each other across the genome, across the DNA and that's how they hone in on the mistake. So what's in the future is actually thinking about if they're talking to anybody else on the line, if maybe these repair proteins also are talking to other proteins that are involved in maintenance of the genome.